Hi, I'm Nina, and thank you so much for joining me in another chair yoga practice. In today's class, we slow things down. There's no need to hurry. And in moving at this pace, perhaps we learn something new about ourselves and the world around us. So grab your chair and join me. We'll get started as we always do with our chair and something underneath our feet to connect us to the earth. Today I decided to use two blocks. So I'm just gonna put my feet on the blocks and I'm gonna slide my body back to the back of the chair. And even though I'm sitting to the back of the chair, I'm not slumped into it, but I'm using and engaging all of those muscles in my spine to keep me sitting upright. Let's turn the palms down. And the very first thing that we wanna do is slow down that breath. The invitation is to soften or close your eyes and eliminate any external distraction. And just notice your breath. Lengthening it, evening it out, slowing it down. And as you continue to work with that slow breath, take a moment to notice how your body feels today. and then return your attention to the breath. So we'll bring that right palm to heart center. We'll put the left palm on top of that and we'll take a moment right now to set an intention for this practice. And it might be the words, slow down, or it might be no hurry or anything else that's important to you today. And then we'll release those hands back to the lap. Gently open the eyes if they were closed. Sit up a little bit taller. We're still at the back of our chair. Let's take a loop or two with the shoulders. And then we're just gonna bring a little bit of slow motion into the neck. So sitting up tall, my core is engaged. I'm very slowly gonna turn my head and look to the right, looking over my right shoulder. Now, I'm not tying this motion to my breath. I'm just looking over my shoulder. The only thing that needs to move here is the neck, head and neck. So I don't need to lift my shoulders or do any special movement. And then we come back to center with the nose and then begin that journey to look over the left shoulder. Taking your time. You don't really need to push to the edge, to the limit. Just bring movement into the neck and we journey back to center. So let's do that same motion again, very slowly. We're moving, we're gonna start looking to the right. The nose moves to the right. The eyes look to the right. The shoulders are down from the ears. And then we come back through center, nose straight ahead, and take it in the other direction. And then just as slowly, let's return to center. So small motion, nothing too sophisticated. Motion in the head and neck. Now let's drop that right ear to the right shoulder just as slowly. The ear starts to come down, we're breathing. 
And as that right ear goes to the right shoulder, you might experience a big stretch in the left side of the neck. And then take it back up to center. And slowly drop left ear down to left shoulder. And then return. And let's do that one more time on each side. Take that uh, right ear to right shoulder and then let the left hand just kind of fall off your lap and, and hang by your side. So gravity's doing a little bit of work here. Gravity's pulling that left hand down, right ear's reaching to right shoulder, and maybe that stretch in the left side of the neck gets a little bit more intensified now. Bring the hand back to the lap, very slowly bring the head back up to neutral. And then we're gonna take it in the other direction. So dropping left ear down to left shoulder, let that right hand just kind of slide off your lap. Breathe. And then hand back to lap, gently come back up to seated. Notice what your posture's like right now. Do we still have that nice long spine? And now we're gonna move forward. So let's move forward on our chair. We can lose that support underneath us. Just slide that back and let your feet connect to the floor. Take a circle or two with those shoulders. Notice how things feel in head and neck. And now we'll take our right arm forward, just in front of us, let the thumb be up. And we're gonna take that right arm out to the side just as high as our shoulder. And you may think that it's in the right place and that's good, right? This is our interoception at work, but then just glance at it and make sure that the arm is where you think it is. Make the adjustments that you need either with the arm or with what you're thinking. And then bring your head back to neutral. Push into the feet, sit up taller. Notice the core engagement here. Now we're gonna sit up tall, inhale here, and as we exhale very slowly, let's turn the head to look at that thumb. And inhale, come back to center. Now we are moving with the breath. Exhale, turn the head, look at the thumb. Inhaling back to center. Do it again, turn on that exhale, look at the thumb. Inhale, take the head back to center. Now let's take that arm forward, coming out of the pose the way we came into it, thumb is up, and then very gently bring the hand back to your lap. Pause for a moment here. Notice sensations different side to side. Notice how right arm feels and left arm feels. We'll do the other side. Sitting up tall, we take that left arm forward, thumb is up. Take that arm out to the side. And you want it in line with the body and think about where you think it is and then glance at it, make the adjustments. Sit up a little taller, take an inhale. Exhale, turn the head, look at the thumb. Inhale, come back. Exhale, turn and look. One last turn. Now let's bring that arm forward just to shoulder height and lower it back into your lap. Take a circle or two with those shoulders. Find that long spine again, tall spine. Shoulders are down from the ears. Now let's reach both arms down alongside the body and we're just gonna take an easy sun breath. So as we inhale, we'll circle and sweep the arms up, wherever up is, it might be here. And the exhale's gonna take it back down. So we're gonna move with the breath. Inhale, circle, sweep, come up. Exhale, float the arms down by your side. Let's do it one more time. A 
let the hands rest in your lap. Okay, now we're gonna move slow-mo. So the breath will stay the same, right? We're gonna breathe the same breath we've been breathing, but we're gonna really slow down our motions so that instead of this being an inhale, we're gonna let this be an inhale and an exhale and an inhale. And then as we go down, it'll be an exhale, an inhale, and an exhale. So this is slow-mo, right? The breath is the same. The motion is slowed down considerably. Let's release the hands down alongside the body. When you're ready, we'll begin. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, begin that journey down. Inhale. And exhale. And let those hands rest in your lap. So it really has a different feel to it. Now, whenever we use our breath a little bit differently in our practice, we don't want to force it, right? We are just doing our regular breath here, but we're really slowing down the motions. But sometimes we might change our breath up a little bit. If at any point you get dizzy or don't feel like this is right, just come back to your even breathing. No problem. We don't force the breath ever. But we'll try one more slow-mo sun breath. Arms are down alongside the body. My feet are on the floor, sitting bones firmly on this chair, and my spine is as tall as it can be. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale with this slow movement. Inhale all the way up. And then begin that journey down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale all the way back down. Yes, let the hands rest in your lap. Pause and notice how the shoulders feel. We'll do two more things for our shoulders. Let's bring our fingertips forward, palms up, and let the fingers touch the shoulders. These elbows are forward. Let's bring them as close as we can, whether they touch or not, doesn't matter. And we're gonna make some circles here. So just some big circles, bringing some movement into those shoulder blades. And you may notice, if you bring your awareness to the back of the body, those shoulder blades are kind of doing a dance back there. They're separating as those elbows come forward. They're going up, they're coming together, they're going down, it's kind of cool. And then the next time that the elbows are together, we're gonna go in the other direction. So take your time, let's go a little bit slower now. You don't have to tie it to breath, we're just moving right now and we're breathing. So don't hold your breath either. And then let's pause and let those hands rest in the lap. How'd that feel? Okay, this last one, we're gonna take our right hand in front of us, thumb is up, kind of right, right in front of heart center, and then take the left hand, palm away from you, thumb is down, and we're gonna hook the fingers. You can put your thumbs down once you've made this hook. Bring those hands right to heart center, right to your sternum, think about uh, that they're they're anchored there. Now you don't have to touch, but just think that's where you want to keep them. And we're going to do a really slow propeller movement. So take that right elbow forward and then the left. Now, where's the movement? Where's the sensation now? This gets right into my rib cage. And I feel, again, now it's my ribs that are dancing. And then pause and take it backwards. Notice what's going on with the weight in your feet and in your sitting bones. Is it still even? Pause. Stop. Straighten the fingers, lift up the thumb. We're going to switch the, th the sides. So, left hand forward, thumb is up. Right palm quick, is away from you, facing away from you, thumb is down. Clasp the fingers. Come to heart center, come to the sternum. Let's make a few slow propeller circles. 
Notice how this feels in the shoulders and the rib cage. Take it back. And then pause. We'll release those fingers. We'll let the hands rest in the lap. Take a loop with those shoulders. And let's interlace our fingers now. So just the regular way that you normally would interlace fingers and let's push them down. So think about shoulder blades coming down and away from you. And now we will move with the breath. So let's very slowly inhale. Let's take these up to shoulder height. Exhale, pause here, soften the shoulders if you've clenched them. And let the next inhale take them up and overhead. That might be here or it might be all the way up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, sit up a little taller. And as we exhale, we're gonna bend the elbows, turn the palms back down and push all the way down. So that's our exhale all the way down. Let's try it again. Inhale. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, lift it up. Stay here for the exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, sit taller. Exhale, start to bend the elbows, push those palms all the way down. So it's slow-mo, but we've broken it down. Let's try it again with that slow-mo breath and we'll keep moving the whole time. So we're gonna inhale and exhale. Keep going all the way up and inhale to the top. Turn the palms down, bend the elbows, push down, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We'll try it again one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale all the way to your top. Exhale. Inhale and exhale and release those fingers, shake out the hands. Notice how things feel. And we're going to make our way to standing now. Once we come to standing, we make sure that our workspace is clear. No blocks on the floor, nothing to trip us up. And we'll come to our Tadasana, our standing mountain pose. And we're gonna take that sun breath again with the arms, one breath, one movement. Let's try to like that. So we stand as tall as we can, we engage that core, we inhale, circle and sweep those arms up. We know that up is different for everybody. And the exhale's gonna take those arms back down. Try it again, inhale. And exhale. And now we're going to come to that slow motion sun breath, just like we did seated. So we inhale and exhale. The arms are moving very slowly. The inhale takes us all the way to the top. And then exhale. Inhale and exhale and release. And pause there, notice how your body feels. Feels a little different when we have to move that slowly, right? Do you like that or not? Do you always rush? I'm a, I'm a rusher. So it's like, oh, I wanna go faster. And you notice I start to talk right about here. I need to be quiet. Okay. We're gonna do some side body stretching. If you want that chair in front of you, I would recommend grabbing it. As a matter of fact, I'll just turn it, just so you know, we can use it right here. We're gonna to come to mountain pose, find that fingertip control, really engaging that core. If you're using the fingertip control, one hand on the chair, we're in mountain pose. We're gonna take this, let's use our left hand, inhale, take it up. We've got that big side body stretch and the exhale's gonna take it back down. 
Again, you can have that fingertip control. Inhale, lift it up, reach up, lean over, and the exhale floats it down. One more like that. Take it up and float it down. There I was trying to rush. Okay, now this time we're going to do the slow-mo on the way up and we're going to keep it there. So it's going to be an inhale, exhale, inhale all the way to the top and then just stay here and breathe. You might have your hand on your chair just to help support you. Take another inhale. Start the way down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And pause and notice. Notice how the arm feels. Notice how the side body feels. Notice how you how you're how your brain's feeling right now. We'll do the other side. Same thing, you can use that chair with fingertip control with your opposite hand. So I've got my right arm. I'm gonna inhale, take it all the way up and over. And exhale, float it back down. Now, if you're not using the um, chair for fingertip control, just let that arm rest by your side. Now this one, we're gonna go up super slow and we're gonna stay there. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale, take it all the way up and over. Stay here, breathe. Push down into that right foot, reach up through right fingertips. We might be here, that's fine. We can take it to a, a salute, we can take it to hands to shoulder, wherever is good. And now we begin the journey down on the exhale, slow journey. So let's, let's inhale and prepare. Start that floating down, exhale. Inhale. And exhale, float that arm all the way back down. Yes, pause here, take a circle or two with those shoulders. Notice how that feels. Okay, let's come to our chair now. We're all gonna face the back of the chair. And I'm standing about a foot away. Fingertip control. And let's come on to the um, left toes, just coming up onto the toes. And then we have that option to pick up the foot. So I'm standing up tall. I'm going to pick up my foot however high I want to. I can bring it straight up. I can bend the knee, reach it back. It doesn't matter. One-legged balance pose right here. And then just as slowly as we've been moving, let's start to hinge forward with the upper body. Let's reach that foot back. Reach it back, reach it back, reach it back. Put the toes down. Let your upper body lift up. Here we are in a little bit of a lunge. Now we're gonna come out of that pose just the way we came in. So we start to hinge forward. We pick up that knee. We bring the knee forward as the upper body stands. We put that foot back down. Okay, when we move this slowly, it is the core that's doing this work, right? It has to do this to keep us upright. So we're gonna to switch to the other side. Let's really pay attention to what's happening here. Let's pick up the foot. Now, of course, you can always just keep the foot on the ground and gently slide it back. You're gonna have that same effect and you won't have to worry about balance if balance is an issue today. But we know every day is different with balance, so give it a try if today's a balancing day. Once you're here, you can pick up that leg as high as you want. You can pick up the knee, you can just bend the knee, reach it back, however you wanna do it. We come to this one-legged balance pose. Come to one-legged balance. Find 
balance and ease here. That's the tricky part, right? And then upper body hinges forward, that leg starts to reach back, starts to reach back, starts to reach back. Put the toe down. Let's lift up the upper body. So here we are in a little lunge. Breathe here and we're gonna come out of the pose just the way we came in. We hinge forward. We pick up that foot and we start to make that journey, bringing the foot forward, crown of the head reaches for the ceiling. We find that one-legged balance at the end of the, the sequence as well. And then put the foot down. Wiggle those hips. Notice how things feel. Okay. This time we're going to do the same thing, but when we put that foot down, we'll put the heel down as well, and we'll come into a warrior one. You may want to step back a little bit farther. I'm going to move my chair so that I can step back a little bit farther. So I have both feet on the floor. I'm about a foot away from my chair. So my fingers can rest here gently. This is my fingertip control. I'm going to lift up this left foot first. Find balance on one leg. However I do it is fine. This is good too, right? It's all good. So find balance here. And then start to hinge forward, start to reach back. So this standing leg might soften a little bit. That's fine, right? We're moving to a warrior one. My toe goes down, my heel goes down. Here I am, warrior one. Once I'm here and that back heel's down, I feel comfortable removing my hands. I can bring them to heart. This is warrior one. Breathe here. Now we'll straighten the front leg. Let's float the arms down. Still in our warrior one stance, my hips are pretty much facing my chair. As I inhale, I'm going to bend the knee, reach the arms forward into warrior one. I can keep that fingertip control, bringing my chair back, letting one hand rest there, letting both hands rest there. Let's try it again. The inhale lifts us. Exhale, straighten the leg. We'll do one more like that. And now we're going to do super slow-mo. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to your warrior one. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Different feeling, isn't it? Bring your hands to your chair. I'm bending my knee to reach to my chair. I'm gonna come onto the back toe. See how I have this long line of energy from the heel to the crown of my head. I begin that shift. The weight goes into that front leg. I lift up that back knee. I'm moving slowly, slowly, slowly. That means my core is working harder than ever. Find balance here, then put the foot down. Pause there and notice, wow, really different side to side for me. Let's do the other side, fingertip control. Figure out where you wanna be. Wherever you wanna be is fine, but find balance there. So if you're way up here, that's terrific, but make sure that you're stable before you move. And if your toes are on the floor, same thing, it's wonderful. Find stability and then we move. So we start that motion, the upper body starts to hinge forward. It's like, um, just it, it moves all as one piece and my leg reaches back and then I put my toe down, I put my heel down. Here I am, warrior one. I can take those arms up, I can bring them to heart. This is warrior one. My hips are pretty much looking at my chair. And then we'll release the arms, straighten the leg. Let's inhale, bend the knee, reach the arms up. And exhale, float it down. So we don't want that knee to go beyond the ankle. Pay attention to that. So it doesn't have to be a real deep bend here. You know the cactus arms are always a good choice. Okay, now we're gonna do our slow-mo. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just 
start going down. Bend that knee. We'll bring our fingertips to the back of the chair seat. Look, already I'm in a long line. I'm on my back toes. I begin to shift the weight into my front leg and bring that back knee forward and up. Slow movement, slow movement. Find balance when we come to that one-legged pose and then put the foot down. Take a break, wiggle, jiggle. And we're gonna turn and face the uh, seat of the chair now. So I'm going to move these back just a little bit. And we're gonna just face the seat of the chair. We're gonna take a forward fold here. So let's get long, let's get tall. And then as we exhale, let's take a fold. Hands come to the seat of the chair. Both hands are down. And I'd like you to think about what we did while we were seated with that arm. So we'll take the left arm out to the side. Okay, the palm is facing the floor. Now, I think this is where I want my arm to be, but I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna glance at it, and then I'm gonna look back down at my hands, at that space between the hands on the uh, chair. So we take an inhale here, we get very long in the spine. As we exhale, slowly turn the head to look at the thumb. Notice what's going on with the core. Inhale, come look back down at the chair. Exhale, turn. Inhale. Exhale, turn one last time. Inhale, look down at the chair. Bring that hand back down. Two hands on the chair. Okay, we take the right arm out now just to shoulder height. So give yourself the chance to glance at it to make the adjustments that you need so that we're sending the message to the head. Oh, this is what I mean when I say my arm is out at shoulder height. So I look at it and then I get back in alignment so that my nose is looking straight down at the chair seat. This is the inhale. And we exhale, we turn the head slowly and look at that thumb. Inhale, come on back down. Exhale, turn and look at the thumb. Last one. And then bring that hand back down to the seat of the chair. If everything feels okay, you can drop that head down, come down to the forearms. If today's not a good day for that, just stay here with long spine, neck in line with the spine. And then we soften into the knees one at a time. We bring our hands to our thighs and come all the way back up to standing. Take a loop with those shoulders. We're gonna make our way back to our chair now. So we're sitting on the edge of our chair, feet are on the floor, and we're just going to do just a little twist before we close up this practice. Let's take our arms wide, a welcoming gesture. Welcome. Take an inhale and as we exhale, let's bring left hand across to right shoulder and look over that right shoulder. Stay here, breathe. And then untwist, welcome. Exhale in the other direction. Inhale, welcome. We'll twist again. The other arm just kind of rests down by your side. And then inhale, welcome. And we'll exhale, twist in the other direction. And then return to center. Let those hands come down to your lap. We're gonna move back to the back of our chair. I'm going to put my blocks on the floor again so I can connect to the earth. It's kind of nice having two blocks here, yeah? Sit back, but sit tall. So this isn't the schlong. This is the sit tall. Let's turn our palms up in our laps. 
and the invitation is to close or soften the eyes again. Soft gaze on the floor or eyes closed if that's okay and return your attention to those slow and even breaths. Let your shoulders soften. Notice how your body feels. We'll wiggle the fingers, we'll wiggle the toes. Bring a little motion into the head and neck again. Open the eyes, lift the gaze. And we're gonna move to the edge of the chair. One last time, feet on the floor. Let's bring those palms together in front of heart center, uniting the left and right halves of the body. Let the thumbs rest on the sternum. Tuck your chin, recall the intention that you said at the beginning of class. Slow down. And then thank yourself for taking time to slow down today. Thank you for allowing me to guide you. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Stay well, my friends.